Hello and welcome to the Titans. This is your host Jesse Leslie and welcome to the third episode of the first jump. I want to thank you the Titans for an amazing week and an amazing feedback that you gave us during the, the second episode. And this one we are going to do it a little bit different but with the same structure. And we're going to start with the fun fact of the of the week. There are a lot of things that have happened in the previous days in technology but which have made an an impressive an impressive fact in this ecosystem or in the society or in the world whichever way you want to choose and the fun fact of this week is that something amazing was born this week not necessarily this week but in the later years but among these days of the week and wireless transmission was born after Marconi sends a three-quarter mile of the transmission in wireless. That is a fun fact for you. As we start this thing, we want to be like the wireless network. We want to start small and we want to grow. And as we're going to take a deep dive, we're going to cover a few things. A few things that have been interesting this week. And for you to, to have a grasp, go and check our blog, incubateafrica.net. And Check on everything that has happened. Go and read for you to stay equipped. Go and read. There are links over there that redirect to any other blog, any other asset that is needed. And keep yourself updated. For this session, we're just going to cover a few things. And first of all, this week, we woke up with something strange in Nairobi to say. And that is the Airbnb. The Airbnb users just found themselves in in the strangest places in the internet and uh, to be frank it's not one of the, the zones you want to find yourself and again we're going to cover about the Egyptian fintech that has, has been funded by PayPal for the first time PayPal is going to venture into Africa or rather has ventured into Africa then Mara raises 23 million from coin ventures it's crypto and under a currency bit we'll cover Safari code. Safaricom this week has amazing news for you people, for those who are in Kenya, for those who are in Ethiopia. And we go to the first one, Airbnb. Uh, during COVID time, Airbnb picked up very well. And in Nairobi, first of all, the business, the business spiked up very well. It boomed. I think it's one of the most efficient businesses that cropped up very well during COVID. People traveled, people locked themselves, as in it was an indoor celebration for people, indoor traveling for people. Like Airbnb wasn't banned, but anyway, a couple of users or a couple of customers or a couple of clients of Airbnb hosts in Nairobi, however, found themselves in porn sites. And this is not a, a very good way to find your remote work in a porn site, you know. You, you are just enjoying yourself, you are remote working somewhere, and suddenly someone just decides to make money out of you. And just for you to know, Airbnb has certain rules. And these rules are, when you have a camera in your room, you need to show it to the class. You need to tell them we have this and this and this for them to know. However, hidden cameras, they're not allowed. But in Nairobi, things do happen. Nairobi is a city of business, as they say. And they make it a business out of your business. Anyway, don't be scared of anything. Don't be alarmed, it's not so much that these things so, do crop and in case they do crop and you find yourself in such situations, you can report to Airbnb. Egypt has been on the news for quite a while and right now they are on the news an Egyptian startup known as Paymo, which has raised a $50 million 
which has been led by Paper Ventures and Cora Capital. First of all, before you go on, you need to understand that this is the first venture that PayPal has covered in Africa or has funded in Africa. This making them and Paymob lying on the same structure and in the same way with with PayPal and Paymob. And Paymob is a, is a is a startup that enables merchants to accept digital payments online and in store. It's not frankly one of the first things to be to be funded that has the same and the same structure, the same way of operation. But this is the first, as I said earlier, the first venture of PayPal. This plus the Series A that Paymob raised, it leads to a a total valuation of $68.5 million. And crunching up the numbers, they're really going steadily and moving very well. Figuring out the financial inclusion and the fintech world in Africa is really is really on a tail on us on the same line because majority of the things cropping up are either moving in crypto or they're going to this way and this way. There is no new way of cropping up the, the fintech world. Maybe we need a new thing, we need a new thing and I think fintechs need a new thing. And maybe this might be a new thing. Anyway, and for the competition of Paymob, you can go and look at Foray, you can go and look at, at Paytabs. They, are, they operate under the same structure and they operate under the same way. And as, as we, we still take a deeper dive in fintech, fintech is growing in Africa. And now that fintech is growing and routing into the crypto world, I need you to understand something new, the titans. Crypto is a new thing that the governments are not are not allowing in Africa. They are majorly in Kenya and in Nigeria. We are fighting crypto a lot, a lot, a lot. And we need to give it a chance to grow. We need to give it a chance to grow. Since we have Yellow Card in there, we have a couple of startups in, in, in Kenya that are focusing on crypto. We need to we need to give a room. And when we go to Nigeria, we see Mara. Mara has raised a $23 million funding, which is a pre-seed, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's a seed round. And they have raised this from Coinbase Ventures and FTX. This, they want to build a portal for crypto. And I know there are a couple of things, a couple of startups that operate under the same line where they buy, they sell, they trade and not so many are out there. There's Swery, there's, there's Yellow Card, there's other, other, other startups that are down there, let's say, that are trying to crop up and figure out their structures as they come, come up. Though Mara wants to approach this thing differently. To be honest, Mara wants to approach the government so that they allow this intervention and they allow this crypto thing to crop up. However, we don't know how Mara is going to do this or they're going to partner with the government since it's going to fight the government's regime of money and the government loves to control things and when you go to blockchain, things want to be uncontrolled. There's no superpower. Anyway, Mara has raised this funding with no, with no, with no app on the Play Store, meaning it's all idea. And of late, we've been seeing startups getting the fund from the ideas, no MVP, no nothing, just ideas. How viable are these things? You know, I don't understand it. Anyway, it's the funding world. It's the CEO's world, we don't know. And as we go into Kenya, and you know the juniors, the juniors are trying to are trying to use this cash flow and use these kinds of apps to send money. And Safaricom has seen this as a as a gap. And 
since they are growing also in into Ethiopia, I think this will be a very good thing. I think they have a connection of 18.5 million smartphones on their network. You know, this is something amazing. You imagine this 18.5, these are already included people or adults in their network. And now they're going to leverage on the ages 10 to 18 years. You can imagine the capacity they are going to, they're going to grow. And also in part of their announcement, Safaricom say they're going to they're going to launch their, their visa, their visa card. We don't know how soon or when, but this is going to be something amazing. This is going to be a revolutionary technology. And this is this is something new and something amazing in Africa precisely for Kenyans. Kenyans are very happy for, for this thing. We've been using money, the cash flow is amazing. And of late we saw there's a school that is accepting is accepting or giving the kids pocket money using swipe cards. You can see the the trend is really 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 changing from paper money to digital money. And probably very soon we don't know if Safaricom will creep up into into crypto or this and that, but we don't know. And for all these segments, we need you to give us your feedback. We need you to give us your your take on on the fintech world. Do you think we need a lot of fintechs, or we need a level revolutionary world in the fintech society? And I don't know how you're going to say or you're going to to do this, but just give us your comments there at YouTube. We have the question poll on our Spotify podcast. Be sure to check out the link. Be sure to share. And thank you. It's a wrap. I've been your host, Jesse Leslie, and this is Tech Talk Africa. Bye-bye.